hi guys welcome back to my channel it's good to have you here again today we are making a very simple recipe yes it is a very simple one and i did not use my oven for this i'm going to show you how to bake this yummy and fluffy bread in a pot so if you want to see how this turned out watch till the end okay so you want to begin by adding your yeast in warm water to check if it is still alive then you're going to add your flour in a bigger bowl add some milk powder salt sugar and nutmeg okay you're going to mix that together then you go in with your yeast that has proved with one egg so you want to add a little water to this then mix it till everything comes together and form a dough once you've gotten a dough now, you want to knead this till it is stretchy. If you have a stand mixer, it makes the job faster for you. But if you don't have a stand mixer, just knead for about 10 to 15 minutes, okay? And if this is your first time on my page, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so much for choosing to watch this video and also stopping by. I hope you're not going to leave without subscribing to this page. Please subscribe to this page. This is a way of encouraging me and also like this video if you find it helpful so after kneading my dough i'm going to divide it into two parts you place one part in a bowl i just sprayed oil on it so it doesn't run dry okay so to the other part of the dough i'm going to add cocoa powder and a little water you can use milk if you don't want to use water then mix this properly till everything is perfectly incorporated after that you just want to repeat the same process spray oil in the bowl then spray on top of your dough so it doesn't run dry Cover with a clean film and let it double in size. This was about 30 minutes later and it has doubled in size. I'll knead for just one minute before I cut into three parts and roll into a bowl. Wait, you know this video cannot go on without me thanking my returning subscribers. Thank you so much for always watching my videos. I really do appreciate and it means a lot to me. May God bless you. So after rolling into a bowl, you want to place this in your baking pan. I already greased my baking pan with butter and flour. Then you want to take the other part, knead for one minute, roll into a bowl before you place it in your baking pan. So once everything is in the baking pan now, you're going to cover this with a clean film, let it double in size. And if you've watched till this point and you've not yet subscribed, tell me what you're waiting for. It is totally free, no charge attached to it. So kindly hit the subscribe button now. Thank you so much as you do so. So now I'm going to wrap this with a clean film and let this double in size. This didn't take long at all. It took like 30 minutes. Then what I did next was to brush the surface with butter and egg. And after that, I sprinkled some sesame seeds. Then I went ahead to get out my pot. The type of pot or the size of pot you use depends on the size of pan you're using, okay? Then I added enough salt to the pot. Note that after you finish baking with this salt, you don't need to use it again. Just trash it. Then you need to look out for this opening. Use a paper tape to cover it because you don't need any form of ventilation. And you need something to form a base. What I used to form the base was my microwave stand. I just placed it on the salt then i placed my dough on the microwave stand note that you need to preheat your pot for about five minutes first before you add your dough into it then i baked for 14 minutes on low heat and after 14 minutes look at what we have go ahead to brush the surface with butter if you want the shiny look i'll leave the list of everything i used in the description so check it out if you want to make yours so guys i hope this was helpful please leave a comment for me and also like this video and turn on the notification bell because i have lots more to share with you thank you so much for watching i'll see you on the next one bye guys